For this sprinter, it's up onto the lift. Because whistling noises while driving point to the center support of the drive shaft. The drive shaft is secured to the vehicle at four points. The front at the gearbox, on the safety bar, at the center support bearing, and on the rear axle. Unscrew the safety guard first. When reinstalling, the important thing here is to always install new screws. In this case, please note, depending on the engine, different screw heads are installed. For the corresponding torque values, see the document Installation and Removal of the Drive Shaft. The torque value of the safety bar is 100 Newton meters. Next, remove the four screws at the gearbox. For the reinstallation, tighten these screws in two stages. First with 15 Newton meters, and in the second stage with a rotation of 70 degrees. Now the center support bearing is next. The torque for these two screws is 100 Newton meters. Caution, get a colleague to help you before you loosen the last screw. Finally, undo the four screws at the rear axle. Install these two screws also in two stages, first with 15 Newton meters, and then with a rotation of 70 degrees. The drive shaft is now removed. Loosen the two clamps on the rubber sleeve to get to the support bearing. Use a knife. Now disconnect the drive shaft. We continue with the first special tool, the puller. You also need this punch. Turn the support bearing from the drive shaft bit by bit. Here's the part set. Here are the new caps. These caps keep dirt away from the support bearing. The support bearing itself and a new rubber sleeve and clamps. Now install the support bearing. Note the correct positioning. Attach the drive shaft in a vise. With the special tool punch, tap the protective cap onto the drive shaft. Then comes the support bearing, again by using the punch. Check the correct position of the support bearing. With another special tool, tap the second cap onto the bearing. Make sure the cap is correctly positioned. Finally, the drive shaft with the universal joint. Coat the profile with grease. Then install the rubber sleeve and push the drive shaft together.
Pay attention to the markers. Fasten the clamps on the sleeve. Now reinstall the drive shaft in the vehicle. Installation takes place as usual in the reverse order.